Oh, Cade Mulgrew, you've gone and narrated a documentary. Well, it's not a documentary. I mean, this one's about geocentrism. And, you know, documentaries are supposed to be about things that are actually real. Um, so this is not a documentary, it's more of a mockumentary. Well, not a mockumentary. Mockumentaries are usually supposed to be funny. Uh, maybe it's a, a schlockumentary. No. Shockumentary? No. Uh, what about a crockumentary? Oh, close, but not quite enough. Uh, how about a fuck you mentry? Yeah, fuck you mentry. So, you got this fuck you mentry about a, uh, a thing with uh, geocentrism, which is the Earth being in the centre of the entire solar system, or maybe even the cosmos. I can't really, you know, it's. You know, it depends on which geocentrist you ask, because there's like six of, well, actually a quarter of America is apparently geocentrist. <sighs> so, so we've got this geocentrism, which is not a real scientific thing. It hasn't been a real scientific thing since the 15th century when Nicholas Copernicus was able to work out that it wasn't really a thing using a bit of string and a stick. That's what he actually used. So, Kate, right, you've gone and done this. <sighs> what are we going to do? Look, you have traded away the very good name of Starfleet captains and just traded away completely. I mean, other people who have been on Star Trek have done fuckumentaries before. Uh, you got, uh, what the fuck do we know? That starred Armin Shimmerman. Uh, but he, he, he played a Ferengi. He played a Ferengi and, you know, they, they're not to be trusted anyway. And of course, there was the uh, series uh, In Search Of, which was uh, done by Leonard Nimoy. But it was the 70s, they had a lot of drugs, and he needed the cash. So, you don't need the cash, though, because you can go to any Star Trek convention and get a lot of cash by uh, getting paid $150 per autograph. So that's not the reason. So, why are you doing this? I mean, you know, it's not, you, you just don't do this. I mean, you're trading the the sacred name of the staff fleet captain. I mean, you've gone and, and pretended to fly around enough uh, planets and stuff to know that it's always a sun in the middle, not, not a planet. It's just not, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So, look, just say you're sorry, do a full retraction. I mean, I mean, look, Michio Kaku and, and Lawrence Krauss, they're also in it, but you can forgive those because they, they were just trying to talk about science and they got quote mind. I mean, that's an occupational hazard, but you got, you got a script. You got a script and you were able to read the script and, and you know, before, before you even started. And, and your uh, agent was able to give you the script. And he didn't even look at the uh, background of the people who you were working for and see that... You know, it was a Holocaust denier and somebody who is trying to push geocentrism, which is complete not science at all. Not science. I mean, you know, you know if it was science, then all of what NASA does would be not working at all. It would... The, all the rockets would just not work because uh, the understanding of physics that we have... Uh, comes from looking up in the sky and and seeing the planets and how they rotate and go around the sun, not around the earth. Because the sun's bigger than the earth. So it's Jupiter, but Jupiter goes around the sun and earth goes around the sun. And the galaxy is bigger than the either. So the sun goes around the galaxy. You're not listening anyway. You just want money. Don't blame me, I like money myself. <laughs>